Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a quick overview, show and tell and whatnot of this guy and overall review um, of the Grimsmo Norseman. Um, before we get into it, please subscribe, please like and follow, please follow the Instagram, please like the Facebook page, and please uh, subscribe and like this video. Be very helpful. We're gonna do some quick size comparisons. Just a couple, not very many. Um, so, the shaman. As you can tell, very similar blade length. The Norseman, though, is actually a tad longer. I mean, barely, but it is a tad longer. Um, <clears throat> handle room is very similar. Um, one thing with this particular size comparison that you're going to see is this. The Norseman may be a decent size folder this way, lengthwise, but it is thin. And that makes it nice. It's wide but thin makes it very comfortable in hand. So, next size comparison is going to be this guy right here, which is going to be your 940. Obviously, you can tell there is a difference. The 940 is decently smaller in every aspect, the handle and the blade. Uh, the Norseman is quite a bit longer, um, but to some people's surprise, the Norseman is slimmer, so it's just as easy to pocket. Now it's going up into the price range, very similar price range, it's going to be this guy right here, which is in Strider S and G. Um, these are very similar in price, to be quite honest. Um, the S and G is maybe a little bit more, um, depending on the variant. So it kind of depends. Um, you can find S and Gs cheaper. You can find uh, Norseman's more expensive, and vice versa. Um, Obviously, this is not better than that. I'll say that now. Um, <clears throat> next is your XM18, three and a half inch. Um, this is definitely cheaper. Um, but still a really quality overall knife. Um, handle wise, they're pretty close. The Norseman is slightly, ever so slightly larger. Uh, you can see that gap, it's, it's, it's ever so slightly. Um, blade, same thing, ever so slightly. Not by a lot, but it is there. But that is going to be it for size comparisons. Um, just to kind of get an idea. But, the action. you're not careful, even at the angle that we're at, it still drops shot so easily. And so, when getting the Nor this Norseman, I also got the double lug. It came with a single, which is great if you want to use, you know, the thumb sets just that. But, one thing I thought would be great to test out and see is reverse flip. And yes, yes, it does reverse flick. In fact, it is very, very smooth. On um, you can just pick whichever one you want, and it'll go. Um, now, this is a knife that, um, if you do carry it, you do not want to hand it to someone that you're not sure knows what they're doing, because any person could, boom, have drop their fingers super easily. Um, 
is comfortable in the hand um, because in here is all knocked down. Everything is knocked down. It's really, really smooth. But there's two things in the knife handle that is important. Overall, is the ergonomic of the lines, but th there has to be some width, either in this dimension or in this dimension. You can't have it be thin here and thin here and expect it to feel good. It's just gonna feel small and often just be uncomfortable. So what they did with the Norseman is make it wide here. That way it would feel fill the hand that way and it was still wrapping. Um, I do have some room here, can choke down if I want to, can choke up. Um, so, blade, let's talk about the blade. First, let's just talk about the steel. Um, so a lot of people think, why don't they use better steel? Um, first of all, who in their right mind wants this blade shape to be hard to sharpen more than it already is? Who wants a hard steel, a super, super hard steel to sharpen on top of this angle? Uh, no one. So this steel is both good overall in edge retention, but easier to sharpen. That way you can use it, it will last, but then it'll be easier to sharpen. That way you don't have to both deal with the grind of this and deal with it being a hard steel to sharpen. That's why I make it harder than it needs to be. Um, and it's also just a good steel in general. Um, it may not be like S, you know, 20 CV or M390 or Hoover or anything like that. It may not be your Magna Cut. But it is a well-rounded steel for using. So this is obviously the steel is made to use. The blade shape is also made to use. Obviously, you can use this right here for stuff like that. Quick, small little cuts, or just kind of like that, like a, almost like a chisel, but with just your hand scraping something off. Um, you can use this blade shape with a recurve for cutting rope, for cutting any. Really, it's good for cutting most things because you start here and then it goes into the blade and then back and the blade here is able to dig into the material, whatever you're doing. So it is a funky design, yes. And you either love it or you hate it, but it is a very useful utilitarian blade shape. Um, and the Grismo, is very detailed in everything. Like the little, if my camera will focus here, and the little details in that, little details here, even the scale itself, the crowned spine, obviously the blade itself here. Over here, yeah, we see there's some detailed writing in there. There you go, you can see the Grismo logo right in there. Maybe one day I can get to focus. But let's see if I can. Nah, not today, I guess. Sometimes you have good days with the camera, sometimes you don't. But either way, you can probably take the time in some of these areas to zoom in on this. Um, 
But you obviously see the milling around, the pivots. I mean, right around the uh, screws and on the pivot and jumping that is not too aggressive but useful. The blade itself. No, it's it's a very pretty knife overall, with great action, good ergos, um, good action, good ergos, great design, a unique design on top of that, um, good overall steel. Um, now, because of the whole deal with this being not cheap and being in the high end of knives it's definitely not for everybody these go anywhere between eight to thirteen hundred um, you can get them sometimes on the secondary depending for cheaper but you're still looking at 600 roughly maybe more than that um 600 is like the minimum so you can find it you're probably going to be still looking at like 700, 800, even on the secondary. So, um, is it for everybody? No. Although, not even the taste and the style is for everybody, uh, let alone the price. So, if people think this is interesting, but can't afford it, won't be able to get it. But people that like it and can't afford it, uh, that's the people that I would recommend this for. Um, even if it's just to add to your collection. Um, simple as that um it's a unique knife it's a beautiful knife it's a great action so the best action um if you can get a hand on one of these i would highly recommend it um uh, to carry to use actually um but if you don't want to use it it'll at least um add to your um to your collection at the very least um, there's not much I can really add to this. Um, it's mainly just really show and tell at this point because I mean you you can look at the details of everything on here. Details of the screws, details of the blade. It's all there. Details even in the uh, scales underneath. Everything is very detailed. Um, so, and obviously the hidden screw, you can kind of see it's two screws down there um, for this pocket clip. Uh, very good pocket clip, by the way, if you were wondering. Slides in and out with ease, no issues. Um, but yeah, it kind of depends. Like, If you like this style and can pick one up, 100% um, would recommend it. No doubt, no question go for it um if you can't afford it now but are able to save up i would do so i would 100 percent do that um now do you is it like a have to like have in your collection not necessarily but i do think it would be a great piece to have and carry and maybe use the pending but it was definitely would be a great one to have regardless. Would 100% recommend it. Um, by the end, that's all I have for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, please again, subscribe. Please like the Facebook play page. Please follow Instagram and like this video and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.